At a conference which was mandatory for workers to attend, former CEO and founder of Starbucks, billionaire Howard Schultz, used a reference to the Holocaust to try to dissuade workers from voting to unionize. Here is the video courtesy of the Majority Report on YouTube. That when people in Germany and in Poland were sent to the concentration camps, they were thrown into rail cars and sometimes the journey was eight hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, no light, no, no water, no food. And when they arrived at the camps, the rail cars were slammed open. And you could hear that metal door just right against the cold weather. Men were separated from women, and women were separated from children. Pause it. And one I, I just want to I just want to make it clear six, what this is. It is it's Schultz basically talking to would be union workers. Um, this is a captive audience meeting. Yeah. I mean, this is not like some type of of I don't know conference where people share their stories of the Holocaust. No. Uh, I just want to make this clear this he is building up to why people shouldn't unionize in his shops they're all uh they're all uh, they have to be there um and well, he uh, can't explicitly say that essentially right yeah and so he has to make it this this well, pablum a little bit more context is this was a story told to him by a rabbi in israel um right. he thought he should share with his workers so. yeah Right. And he really remembered all the uh, the details, I guess, there. Uh, and now, and, and just to be clear, he is not about to say it's better to work at Starbucks than it is to be uh, transported by train um, in uh, Nazi Germany. I just want to make that clear. Wow. We'll continue. Yeah. Should be implied, but. Men were separated from women, and women were separated from children. And one person for every six was given a blanket. One blanket for every six people. And the person who got the blanket had to decide what to do with this blanket that I have for myself. And not everyone, but most people, most people shared their blanket with five other people. And the rabbi says to me, take your blanket and go share it with five other people. <clears throat> and so much of that story is threaded into what we have tried to do at Starbucks. You know what I take from that story? Solidarity. Yeah. Form a union. All I have to say is, how is dissuading your workers from unionizing in any way similar to victims of the Holocaust sharing their blankets?